you might be aware that I'm a big fan of the hamstick antenna for mobile, the Ampro hamstick in particular here in the UK. There are other brands such as the Shark and MFJ in the States and dare say one or two others floating around as well. But they all operate with a very similar concept to each other. I did a recent video actually on operating uh, HF Mobile. There'll be a link up there for you if you fancy looking at it. Number one, they're cheap. They are as cheap as chips, really cheap. Um, you can get one, uh, they're all monoband antennas, but you can get them for 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, six meters as well. And to, to be honest, for the price, they are a very robust and hard wearing antenna. And if you break it, get another one. Uh, <laughs> I know it's 30 pounds, but in the, in the, com, in the, in the, uh, the context of the hobby that we're in, 30 pounds isn't, isn't a huge investment really. It's main competitors. Well, monoband wise, I would imagine it would probably be the Diamond Range. The Diamond Range is a very well made antenna. They are centre loaded, roughly the same sort of height as the, the Ampro Hamstick, so they'll be of a slightly better performance, especially as you go lower in frequency. Um, how much better? I don't think you'd, you'd probably notice it a great deal, um, but they are certainly more expensive. The Diamonds are around 50, 60 pounds, so for the same price as the Diamond, uh, center loaded whip which are excellent antennas you can also buy basically another hamstick so you can have two hamsticks for the price of one is it twice the the the, um, the antenna i don't know but you're certainly paying for a very well made product the other diamond antennas of the, mo the mono band which compete with the hamsticks are the much shorter ones i think they may well be heavily base loaded i'm not quite sure but they're much shorter uh, they're about something like about four foot long 1.3 1.5 meters long so quite substantially shorter than both their larger diamond brother and also the the hamsticks that i use and uh, they're there as a convenient antenna because they're not very sort of, uh, they don't catch the eye very much. They're quite short, so handy if you're going under bridges and things. And uh, they do okay on the higher bands, but I think when you get to 40 meters and maybe even 20 meters, they're quite a compromise. Ampro hamsticks, not just cheap though, they also perform really, really well. Q, some QSOs. Roger, you're four by one, four by one, over, over. Roger, got you now, Golf 5, Tango 5, you were about five and seven on that last over, five and seven, my name is Gary, George Abel Radio Yankee, and I'm in the Nelson region, which is at the top of the South Island of New Zealand, over. Yeah, Golf 5, Tango Mike, CQ Potter. <laughs> QRZ, this is Golf 5, Tango Mike, Parks on the air. Q, Golf 5, Tango Mike, Parks on the air. Okay, many stations. Q, uh, QRZ, Golf 5, Tango Mike, Parks on the air. QRZ. This is Golf 5, Tango, Mike, G5TM, calling CQ, Parks on the Air and listening. Watts, uh, we're going into a hamstick, an Ampro 40 uh, loaded whip, over. Oh, an Ampro whip, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're very good, the Ampro whips. Uh, I've spoken to many people using them, so doing a good job, Tim. Germany 7, Sierra, Quebec whiskey. Yeah, thanks, Tim. We'll do a problem at all. Great to work. Yeah, thanks again for the, uh, all the videos. I really appreciate it. And, uh, really CQ Potter, Golf 5, Tango, Mike, and standing by. The QRZ. Well, 
this is the beauty of uh, being on Port of Lock Bridge. You get to really enjoy the scenery and also the climate of the good old British sort of late winter time. So there we go. I'm going to take this beauty down now, the old Ampro. There she is. I got to take it down and get home. So then the humble hamstick, pound for pound in terms of the best buys I've ever made in this hobby. It's right up there. You know what? For 30 quid, the price of, I don't know, not very much you can buy in this hobby actually for 30 pounds or $30, whatever. Got to be worth a try. And if you don't get on with it, you can flog it to somebody who'll buy it from you and you probably won't lose that much in, on the deal. But a lot of people who buy them really like them and I'm one of them. Bye for now.